top eight here. And we're starting with a uh, Inmate? Yeah, so no. we got Chase, Chase. Chase, yeah, Chase versus Elegant. Chase, a Politana main, also has a Rob from the San Diego area. Uh, I, I believe he's like in their top three. I don't know the exact rankings for SD, but mm. definitely one of the players that can go toe to toe with AC in like the grand finals of their tournament yeah. down there in uh, San Diego. Yeah, so I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. I don't think I've. I'm not sure these two have ever played. Yeah, I, I honestly, I uh, like Paulu's not like an incredibly popular character uh, in SoCal. Like we have Paulu players, but it's just not like extremely popular. We have like three. Okay, here's a Nair. Okay, wow, that's <laughs> dang. No party time for you. Usually Nair, Nair for Paulu, it, that's everything. Wow, wow, scooping him up from the air too. Chase getting plunged in. Ledge trap here, and I am very curious. I wonder what Chase's experience is against Palutena. Um Chase is a younger player, so definitely came up like what was coming up right before quarantine mm -hmm. happened. So was on the come up, and then you know grinded during all of quarantine, and now extremely a you know a huge threat here in the SoCal scene. Yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean the matchup knowledge has to come in and question. Like you have to wonder what. Is it that Chase is expecting from Luigi's? Yeah, especially I mean, elegant. I think the I think the main thing is this: it's a down B. Okay, just gonna get the back air. I mean, the main thing is just like when knowing when you can, knowing when you can get a true combo without down B being a factor, and knowing when down B is a factor. I think that's like the main thing to know. A absolute first thing, though. Obviously, there's a bunch of other things as well, but yeah, I think that's like the big one. Retreating to the center stage and landing a back air chase. The Nair at the ledge, forcing Elegant off once again. I think we were going to see a rising Nair there, but wow. Elegant with the down B, giving them the tornado. What a reversal. Elegant came down with no fear. Like, Chase was in position to do any aerial, and Elegant was like, and I don't care. Like, I'm just seeing the ledge and, and down B. Like, what it do? Should have pulled the trigger earlier. Yeah, that's, that's your problem. I'm just spinning. Just vibing. <laughs> you want to push buttons? You want to set me up? See what button I'm gonna push? This is what I'm pushing. Yeah, and I spin, baby. And I, I feel like Chase, in like specific scenarios against a lot of other characters, you have a very good. Oh, what? I think he up tilted. Or oh, did like okay, some kind that of makes move. sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, I went into the hit. But yeah, there's a lot of situations where I feel like Chase is like, oh, okay, like the only option you have is like to air dodge. Like I don't have to worry about a swing or anything like that because I'm out of range. But the down B is actually pretty big and it has wind boxes that suck you in. Yeah. So uh, very, very interesting move and you have to play a lot of those scenarios a bit different. Yeah, I think we've actually seen the wind box come into play a couple times, uh, especially at the ledge. You can see like Chase trying to set something up and then uh, Elegant does a tornado and just kind of like barely pushes him back and now everything's misspaced. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, the full hop up here. I believe if you got a, a short hop, that probably would have combo with like sour hit. Sour like back hit of up air into the uh, back air. Very great Luigi setup. And it, it's really good for ending combos. And at, at specific positions and stuff, you can actually get KOs at the edge. Oh, the pivot grab. The spot dodgers are coming out. The rolls are out. Hey, what a back air. That cross up back air coming in clutch for Chase. Oh, there it is. The runoff there. Oh, dragging him down just too far. Even the coin. Elegant was optimal enough. there, though. He, he got that 1% of, like, up B damage. Yeah, and, you know, honestly, like, that 1% is actually super important. And I'll tell you why, Charles. Because some people will not be ready to get put right back into neutral like that. And yeah. they're not going to be ready to recover. Yeah, I mean. You might just catch your opponent sleeping. Yeah, or, like, a buffer, like, a whole buffer air dog. Oh, true. That's the worst. <laughs> yes, that's, uh... <laughs> That is the worst. Oh, we're what spacing the? out. We're spacing out. Oh, no. Don't get crossed up. Oy. That was wow. Chase might have been able to end it there. Especially, I don't know if that up the di. It, it's very, it's very hard to di Palutena up here because it's like sends in a bunch of random directions. Like yeah. you actually don't know. It's almost like Rob up air, but before everyone knew which way to go. Yeah. Okay. Back air. Dodging. Bringing this back though. I love the spacing, and Chase just really adjusting Ooh. to the to the down bees. Just staying on stage here with the down tilts, trying to line up the back air here. Can Elegant close this out? See Elgin on the hunt, but the back airs. Oh, these back airs! Wow, oh, barely with the reverse um, up smash there. The Polinaire not completely covering. Uh, you know the plumbers during the up smash. They do have intangibility on the head there, so 
Definitely elegant utilizing that against right. Chase. I feel like I feel like he needed to reverse that too. He just make sure that the back of the head was just in front of him, just in case. Right, right, right. Chase was like going for like a, a short hot fastball. All right, so Chase. That was that was still really impressive game one. I, I feel like the adjustments Chase made to the uh, the downbees yeah. were really really uh, important. We'll see. And Elegant was getting away with way too many downbees. Yes. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be right he was right. pushing it like every third button. Okay, wow. Not gonna get too much damage, but we got a pickup on the reset here. Sixty-two percent. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Get the trade. Down to wait for it. Ooh, the shield poke off the nair. Chase so going for the uh, full combo there. Double nair into the back air. Ooh, we got. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Even looking for. The, giving him the wait, looking to see what options that Chase was going to pick. Okay, Ooh. elegant. Stomp on him. We're looking clean out here, pairing the last hit of the Palu nair, taking it right off stage and straight into the dunk on the recovery. There's another Nair for Chase, looking for the air dodge. He gets the air dodge. Yeah, he got it. Does not pull the trigger. Yeah, it, it, I mean, to be fair, in that situation, you kind of like would have to super hard commit, like fastball yeah. down and try to get something. Oh, wait it a is minute. in that weird, awkward timing, but because explosive flames down. And honestly, getting hit by that first explosive flame was uh, kind of helped Elegant's recovery. Uh, I mean, he definitely still could have got hit by another one or just got guarded in general. But oh, here's the grab. Wow, look at the roll coming out from Chase. You see another down tilt from Chase. Where's the ledge have to be? Fishing for back airs. An elegant on the hunt from the tech chase, but does not find it. And I feel like Chase is not getting the ledge trap. Uh, oh, the back air gets frame trapped here. Oh no, the grab into the up B. No, we wait. Good DI from Chase. Mm -hmm. More waiting from Elgin. That that only makes me more afraid from the next time he gets put in that situation. Is he actually gonna pull the trigger? Is he gonna go for a tornado? Is gonna be an up B? What button? Will Elegant be trying to push? Oh, we see the down tilt clip. Oh, the high recovery from Chase. That was so smart. But Elegant going to have the up smash ready to get that double jump explosive flame. Very common option, like nine times out of ten. Very, very safe. But Elegant was just already in position. Yeah, the score looking very similar to game one where Chase was down full stock, but then he was able to do Palutena things and slowly but surely bring uh -oh. the game back. But, uh -oh. Okay, this is different. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Caught the DI in there. Um, elegant, kind of like in that scenario, you you didn't drift the dare back far enough, but you're still able to get back here, still cash up with some damage, right? That's true. And here we go with the jab, jab, give him the, the double pop into grab, but the grab does not, in fact, land. That plunger coming out a little bit too slow. The neutral B, I <laughs> some of these neutral Bs, man, I'm like, I I, I think they're gonna be input errors. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Uh, I don't think anything's an input error at this point. <laughs> I mean, may, maybe it, he's just going just way for like too some, frequent. <laughs> right, like maybe. Well, I, I mean, that was the second one where I was just like, oh, okay, like that. That was an interesting neutral B. Like, maybe felt like you could get an aerial or something of the sorts, right? Maybe just wants the damage. Yeah, maybe. Only, only the player really does. Okay, gets scooped up. Oh, Ooh. even teleport yeah. cancels. All right, let's go. Okay, a little fancy here, but the parry is not good enough. Great DI from Chase. Surviving here. Oh, the parry on the explosive wave always gets elegant killed. Okay, the we got invulnerable the back air. Gonna do the job. Now elegant on the chase. And you know what? That's how you fight invulnerability. You throw out your own invulnerability. There you go. Tail as old as time. Spawning from the angel platform and just run up up smash. Use that. You utilize the intangibility. Can't get reversal at the end of your up smash. You're probably still intangible. Worst case scenario. You're back in neutral. That's a that's a hard deal to beat. That's a that's a pretty good deal. I'm yeah. like I'm kind of down. That's some Costco deal. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of down. <laughs> All right, so elegant up 2-0 here against Chase. Oh, so there is that mix up as well. So you, you notice Chase on that first nair did not kind of fast spell it. And so that's a really good mix up on shield because. When you're shielding Palutena in there, you don't know if they're going to fastball at the very last second. Right, right, and right. you're, like, waiting to get hit by the last hit. But if the last hit doesn't come, you know, they're already out of there by then, right? It's, sure. it's actually, like, very, very good. Something that Palutena's have been doing uh, kind of recently. Not, like, super recently, but definitely some Palutena meta. Okay, but, I mean, we're seeing a much better start here for, for Chase. Already putting Elgin in the triple digits. Here we go. More cross-up back here. 
definitely utilizing the shield from Palutena. Yeah, I even I feel like Chase's nares have been a lot more defensive as well. Off the top, no elegant. Drifting down, has the double jump. What's the ledge trap here? And I like that we're seeing a lot more back airs from Chase because normally... Oh, woo, that was so good. Woo, what was, is going on? <laughs> yeah, the, these like very tight scrambles. That explosive flame should do the trick, though. I love how Chase played the ledge trap there on the left side, especially with that falling nair into the reset. Almost picked it up as well. So definitely like ready to react in that scenario. Well, what I was going to say, with, like, especially with Chase throwing out all these back airs, even though, though Elegant's on stage, instead of throwing out a multi hit, because every time Chase did, we see Elegant react with down B, and then, you know, we see Chase getting reversed. Now he's using invulnerability to his end and uh, fighting invulnerability with invulnerability. Yeah, and Paulu definitely uh, has some invulnerable options. The back there, the Oh, don't jump in there. Don't go there. Yeah. How, man, Elegant has been hitting these up smashes, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm reminding me that Luigi is, in fact, a plumber, and plumbers do have up smashes. Elegant trying to get some kind of hit into the grab, but Chase will not give it to him. There you go. The tornado coming in clutch once again for Elegant. Oh, Hard to beat Old Faithful. Into up B. Yes, sir. Yeah, those are the percentages, man. You have to. And this is what I tell people so much about Luigi. Everyone's usually just like, don't don't get grabbed at zero. Don't get like they never get grabbed. By never Luigi. get grabbed ever. <laughs> Especially when you know the uh, the up B windows and the down B windows. Like it, it's it's a nightmare, man. Yeah, this character uh, definitely came out of the shadows as this game progressed and showed that he has more than one way, more than one setup from the plunger. Oh, yeah. They even tried to nerf the zero to death, and they just came up with another variant, yeah. which is hilarious. That's what I'm saying. You can't put this, you can't put this plumber down. So funny to me. doesn't matter like how we try and nerf him. doesn't matter what we do. Luigi's going to find a way. And like every time I, like, Listen to a Luigi mean they always talk about like, oh yeah, there's just like a, there's so many ways, there's so many zero to death, right? Like it's crazy. Oh, off the top, very great neutral air dodge into the down B, slide off, getting the intangibility and the double jump. Elegant really, really playing the resources well here. That slide off is so good because you gives you a brief moment of like seeing Luigi tornado on your shield and you think like, I'm going to get a punish. And then you just see him fall off and you're like, I got nothing. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, is this another up yep. beat? Yes, even catching the DI in as well. Great reaction. It's very, yeah. Yeah, and I, I feel like in terms of just like, it's hard to hit that. That is, yeah. let, me, let me make that I very mean, clear. Most of that stuff is hard to do. It's very hard to hit the, the down throw up B. Because um, the thing is, even if you hit it, sometimes you don't hit the sweet spot. And